Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are the Ginfluencers UK. The gin we're tasting today is Barra Atlantic Gin. That one right down there. Yeah, I think they know. The Barra Distillery is actually on the island of Barra on the west coast of Scotland, all the way up there. Yeah, a lot of point in this video today. This gin is 17 botanicals. The signature botanical carrageen seaweed is what makes this gin so special. The seaweed is harvested after spring tides when the water is furthest from the shore, obviously making it easier to pick. Once harvested, each piece of carrageen seaweed is washed through with fresh water and left outdoors for five to six weeks for the wind and sun to dry and bleach it. That's a, quite an ordeal. Yeah. Once the carrageen has dried and has changed colour to a light white purple, it's then ready to be used to create Barra Atlantic Gin. You can order this gin directly from the distillery, bearing in mind this is a remote location. Getting the gin to you is quite an ordeal. The gin, once you order it, will pass through five different islands before it actually gets delivered to your door. That's quite an amazing you know, no, no, feat that when is, you think about it. That is it. amazing. It has an ABV of 46% and comes in a 70 centilitre bottle for around £30. Now the perfect serve is a dash of ice in a low ball glass, got one there, with a squeeze of pink grapefruit, then you put a large measure of barra in and then a splash of tonic. So we're going to use a premium tonic Navas from Cornwall because we love it. As always, we'll be trying it neat first. So let's get to it. On a side note, I actually remember ordering this bottle. Yeah. Right, and I spoke to the people directly and they were so helpful. They, they laid out how long it would take to get to me and kept me informed all the time. So credit to you guys up there. It was brilliant customer service and I appreciate that. He did keep on saying to me, like, I've ordered you something really special, I've ordered you something really special. Yeah, it's right. Uh, and once again, we're marrying up Cornwall with the furthest part of Scotland. Yeah. Well, it was a happy marriage before, so let's see how this goes. Woo! Right. right. Little pop. Yeah, you said, you said how lovely they were on the phone. Mm. It's nice to get good customer service. Indeed. It's nice to, it's nice to feel special. Absolutely. Right. Very ginny, ginny wow, smell. Very ginny. Wow. That's really fresh. Very Re fresh. Yeah. It's quite sharp. Quite sharp. G nice, nice juniper. Mm. Weirdly, it is kind of coastal. It is like, it's like a breeze. Like of, a... Like, a, a, it's not salty, but it's that sort of freshness. It's, it's like a sea mist. Mm. I know it sounds ridiculous that you, that you can get them in the flavour, but I'm get, I am getting kind of... Are you getting any smokiness? A little bit, now you say that. See, I was going to say, I've got, I've got a really weird thing of kind of citrus coming through, quite, quite strong citrus coming through, but not kind of those orangey flavours. Wow. It is smoke. It is weird. Really yeah. When you breathe smoky. in, so you get it, get it in your mouth, on your tongue, and actually breathe in with it, it you actually get a, a hint of smokiness, which is really nice. A bit, a bit like peat, peat smoke. You know the peaty smoke from Ireland when we were over in Ireland. A bog, and stuff. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Right, yeah, let's get in some tonic. Of that. Right, let's do this. Let's give it a go. Cheers. 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 All the way from Scotland. Oh, that is well balanced sharpness for me. Oh, that's lovely. There's a really nice aftertaste. Wow, really sweet aftertaste. Are you getting that? Do you know, I thought when it said about squeezing a couple of drops of the grapefruit in that it was going to make it grapefruity. It doesn't. Wow. I think it adds to it adds a level of kind of sweetness and sharpness to it. Um, to me, it's it's still kind of coastal. I know it sounds ridiculous. Maybe it's because I've got this romantic notion of a of a beautiful kind of island in Scotland, but it's oh, it, it is a little bit. It's it's very it's very herbaceous. It's it's it's. I'm getting a hint of floral. It's a little bit salty. Yep. Yeah, there's there's definitely saltiness yeah. in there. The sharpness. It's like multitude of different types of flavours in there. It's really enjoyable. There is a smell to it. There, there is a smell to it that I can't kind of place. Driftwood. 
kind of wood. You know when wood kind of gets wet and dries yeah, out? I know what a little wood woody. Is. I do know yeah, what it's a woody is. smell for me. No, see, I'm not getting that. Mm. To me, wow. it's, I'm, I'm not tasting Oops. the woodiness, but I'm kind of smelling it. But there is a kind of, there is a lot of warm. The spice in there is not too heavy. You're not getting loads and loads this of This is kind of, 46%, isn't it? It doesn't feel no, like it. it doesn't. It does not feel like that I mean, at all. When we drank it neat, I felt, I yeah. felt warmth, but not like bang, I think I, For me, it has to be the tonic, right? It was, it was okay, neat. I'm not a real neat drinker. I liked I, it neat, right? actually. I prefer it like this. Absolutely prefer yeah. it like this. But I, li I liked it neat. I liked it neat and because it's not it didn't a lot of burn. tonic in that either, is there? No. No, mm. they, they say a splash of tonic, but God, it's like, there's a lovely. You get, you get. I get a sharpness straight away, and then I get a real nice sweetness instantly after that. And then it, there's a, a a taste afterwards. There's a. I know, I've said this about a few things before. There's a hominess to it. It's nice. Yeah. It feels. It, Let's stay away it from feels nice. Comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a nice gin. Let's get away um, from nice. Yeah. No. It, it, it sounds ridiculous saying a comfortable gin. It's it's one that you can just sit around. You know, nice armchair, looking out the window. If you was on Barra, if you happen to live on Barra, nice armchair. You know, rug on your legs, fire going, cat on your lap, looking out at the kind of storms coming in. This is, I'm really, selling the dream. Really imaginative picture yeah, there. I'm selling the dream. This to me would be be perfect in that way. Yeah, this is this is very nice. Yeah, I'm really, really liking it. Yeah, come on, I'm gonna finish that. Let's score this. Let's score it. Straight away. Do you like the candelabra? <coughs> I'm, I'm a little bit. Music of the night. <laughs> More Liberace. <laughs> Liberace. <laughs> yeah, funny. That'll do. Right. Okay, go. A ten yeah. for me. I was contemplating because, I, I, yeah, it, it's really, it's really, really lovely. Mm. Um, if we did halves, it would be a nine and a half. God, that's so, that's so smooth going down. But then the sharpness kicks in straight away. Then the sweetness, and it's just that taste at the end. Really pleasant taste. You know that thing I said about driftwood and stuff. I don't eat a lot of driftwood. No, no, I'm talking about the, the smell. You know, a lot of the things I say when I say, you know, oh, it tastes like the smell of and stuff. I'm getting Actually, this, I'm, I'm getting, getting it now. Yeah, like a smell. woody, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah a I am. Woody I'm smell. getting it now. I'm so slow. And now, now in the after finish, I am tasting a, you know, like I've said it before about a couple of gins, like pencil sharpening slightly, but only faintly. Yeah, that, I, I get what you're saying there, 100%. It's nowhere near, on a scale of one to a hundred, it's about 17, 18 yeah. of pencil sharp. Absolutely. If, yeah, I get that, it's ever so slightly But in that there. to me is a, a, a smell of my childhood and stuff. Mm. And something, when I smell that, I'm like, oh, it gives me a kind of warm, glowy feeling. That is this a gin lovely gives me, gin. Yeah, this gin gives me a warm, glowy feeling. Are you glad I bought that for you? I'm really glad you bought it for me. And do you know what? For and we have been trying, there, wanting to try this. Yeah. We got this in lockdown number one, right? Can you remember that? Can you remember that, guys? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we've been wanting to try this. But I'm with, so glad with, we got with it. some of the gins that we've never tried before, we were holding off because we knew we wanted to kind of do these YouTube videos. Um, so we wanted you to see us trying it and see what we actually really think. And you know, it's good to see a video where the people trying it have actually bought it and it's not given to them. And they're just saying what That's, the company wants that them to is say. That is true. <laughs> we do buy all our own gins. We do, we yeah, do. It's so, and, uh... and it's important for us to do that because we give an honest review because we think that if you guys are gonna go out there and spend your money on it, at least have a review that's an honest one. And, yeah. and, it's, and it's coming from the heart. And it that's is what we completely try honest. Yeah. Whatever we say is completely yes. There's no no dispute in that because we've got nothing to lose or gain here because yeah. we bought them all. Yeah. So yeah. no one's going to tell us what we what we like and what we don't like. So Barra, well done for getting it yeah. all to well us. Done. Brilliant customer service Amazing. as well. Keep yeah. it up. Right. When this runs out, we will definitely buy another one. Love you to bits. And if we're ever up that way in Scotland, we'll say hi. <laughs> island cropping, uh, hopping, 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 yeah, hopping, cropping, hopping. Well, it's kicked in. Uh, island hopping. We will definitely come in and say hello. But right. well done. So sell the bits. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers.